Join the Classic Game Room community to get your questions answered on Thursday CGR Q&A. The following review has been approved by Lord Garnet and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to Classic Game Room. This is Sega Genesis fanboy Mark making a guest appearance on the show today to bring you the review of the Sega Mark III. While it's not a Sega Genesis, it is like an ancient ancestor to the Genesis, and that means it's rad to the max. Of course it's rad to the max. This thing is named Mark the Mark III. Three, did you know that Mark or Marcus, according to some sources, means God of War, or to be warlike, Warhammer, manliest of men, and raddest of Segas? The Mark III is basically the Japanese Master System, a somewhat redesigned Sega SG-1000 Mark II with a more powerful processor and several other features and changes that make it the SG-1000 to own even, even if it's the Mark III. Three, it's backwards compatible with SG-1000 games. You just plug them right in there and have a good time. Let's look at some other improvements over the Mark II. This has the card slot built into it. Controller ports have been moved to the front and most importantly, it's compatible with the Sega Genesis Model 1 power supply and AV cables. No longer do you have to run it through a VCR or RF adapter. Channel 96, don't worry about it, just go straight in through your composite video. There's a ton of excellent SG-1000 games out there and a bunch that are for the Mark III or Japanese Sega Master System. There's no shortage of games, but I am saddened by the fact they removed the lengthy marketing description from the front of the game console seen here on the SG-1000 Mark II. The styling is very similar, they're roughly the same size. You can see the Mark II has the controller ports in the back. There's your old school video output like the Atari. And you'll have to run that through channel 96 somehow. I recommend a VCR. The Mark II is an excellent game system, but the Mark III does one-up it. Because it's a master system. And the master system is awesome, we all know that. In fact, if you look at a master system, it's basically the same thing. The master system will even run with the same cables and power supply. The Sega SG-1000 required use of the card catcher to play the Sega My Cards. The Mark III just has it built right in. It's got a little door here that protects the cartridge slot, and while it's not a terribly attractive game system, it gets the job done. And that job is playing awesome video games. I've been using this with the Genesis Model 1 power supply cables and the Sega Master System controller, although it does come with its own controller, the Joypad. That looks like this. The Mark III is so similar to the Sega Master System, I wondered if it would play Western Master System games. Nope, now they don't they don't fit in. Different cartridge sizes, but those Sega cards look to be pretty similar. I, I wonder if F-16 Fighting Falcon for the Master System will play in the Mark III. This is either going to work or it'll explode. Don't try this at home. F-16 Fighting Falcon is inserted, turn on. Yes! It works! I'm now playing a Master System game on the Mark III, although it doesn't seem to work the opposite direction. I've either been foiled again or Bomb Jack just won't play on the Master System, it's hard to say. But I can declare that the Mark III is... is amazing. I've, I've really enjoyed all the SG-1000 games that I've played, and this opens up the Mark III games as well. As a Sega fanboy, it's nice to own a piece of Sega history and play some classic Sega games. All this enjoyment doesn't come cheap though, the Mark III will set you back a couple bucks, for sure. And the earlier SG-1000 isn't really all that much less expensive either. However, Master Systems are dirt cheap. But then you don't get the awesome SG-1000 games, and I think they're super cool. So how about a classic game room shout out and thank you all the way to Chris from Jersey City in... Wait for it... New, New Jersey. Jersey! Thank you Chris for sending not one, not two, but three marks. It's the Sega Mark III. And, and the game where that schoolgirl kicks the crap out of ninjas.
The Best of Classic Game Room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision Album Set. Can't I get off the bike and walk?